I've seen your pockets, I know. So in this case, ladies and gentlemen, all right, what they say is they tell us it's a rectangle, OK? We know this is a rectangle. So ladies and gentlemen, automatically, when you know something is a rectangle, there's a whole bunch of things that you know, um, characteristics that we can say about this figure. For instance, now I know they're talking about angles, but let's just go back through a review real quick. If this is a rectangle, I know that marker doesn't work. I know that opposite sides are congruent, correct? If it's a rectangle, opposite sides are congruent. Yes? Yeah. That's what we talked about, you know, that's because a rectangle is a parallelogram. We also know that opposite sides are parallel. Because a rectangle is a parallelogram, right? We also know that these bisect each other. But what's also more important about a rectangle is that the diagonals are congruent. So therefore, the bisectors are all congruent of each diagonal. However, our problem, guys, is we're talking about angles. They don't have anything to do with sides. So then we go through, all right, what is it we know then about rectangles and their angles? Well, we know, so we're not really talking about the diagonals here. But one thing we do know is that opposite sides are congruent, right? Opposite sides are congruent. And we also know that consecutive sides are supplementary. But what was more important about all this is they all add the each measure of each angle of a rectangle is equal to what? 90. Yeah, all the angles are 90 degrees. So what they have here is they say measure of DAC. D A, oh, so here's our diagonal. So they're saying this angle, measure of DAC, and measure of BAC. BAC is 3x plus 1. Find the measure of BAC. OK, so they're saying you have this angle and that angle. Now, for a rectangle, a diagonal does not bisect the angle. But we know if I add these two up, Kiana, what do you think they're going to add up to? If I took the measures of these two angles, they'd add up to? Not close. Just these, just these two angles add up to the square, which square represents? 90, right? Remember, straight line, that's 180. That would be 90. OK? So they're going to add up to 90 degrees. All right? So I can write an equation for that. So I can say 2x plus 4 plus 3x plus 1 equals 90 degrees. Right? Because they're what we call complementary. Because adding up to 180 is supplementary. There we go. Yes? These two angles, they're saying DAC is that one. BAC is this angle. These angles don't equal each other. They add up to 90 degrees. The only way you'd know if they'd equal each other if we said a diagonal bisects the angle, which we know is not true for rectangles. We haven't said that about rectangles. So why are you saying they equal each other? Because that's what all the other ones look like. No, but yeah, but this is talking about angles, though. The only thing you know about angles is that opposite angles are congruent, consecutive angles are supplementary, and all the angles are 90 degrees. OK? It doesn't say anything that if you have a, that the diagonals bisect it. We're going to learn a little bit more about that, actually, today. But the diagonals do not, the diagonals do not bisect the angles. It doesn't say that. It doesn't cut them in half. To make it a lot more simple, can't we just say that line or sides equal each other and angles equal 190? No. No, you're missing the point. Here are the angles we're talking about. These angles are a part of these angles, right? So when you combine them together, what is their measurement? 90 degrees, right? But what you're trying to say is, yeah, this thing is, these angles still equal each other. If I said, if I said this was 2x and this is 3x minus 1, these opposite angles are equal to each other for a rectangle. But we're not talking about opposite angles. We're talking about angles that add up to create another angle. That's why I write this equation, not writing an equation they're equal to each other. Does that make a little bit more sense? We're talking about different types of angles. All right? Yes, opposite angles are equal to each other, just like sides are equal to each other. 
But these two angles are a part of one angle. So that's why we write them as a sum. So let me just follow this up, and we'll go over some more questions later. Um, 5x plus 5 equals 90. Subtract the 5, subtract the 5. 5x equals 85. Um, 85 degrees, and then we divide by 5. Divide by 5. Um, 5 goes into 5, 50, 10 times, and then goes into 35, 7 times. x equals 17. Very good. But now, that doesn't tell us the answer, though. That's the value of x, right? What they're trying to find is find the measure of BAC, B to A to C. So it's not 90 degrees, but it's part of 90 degrees. So BAC is 3x, or measure of angle BAC, is equal to 3x plus 1. We now know x is 17. 17 times 2 is 34. Plus 17 again would be 51, so it'd be 52, I believe. If I do my math correct. So wrong? Oh. All right, and there you go. Does that make a little? I mean, ask more questions if when I get to you on your homework.